Hey everybody, Ridley Fox here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So we are on our way to tame that 145 dire bear that I saw. It's in the redwoods, it's along the edge. We go this way, and then it will curve around to the left. We'll go down there a little bit. So I'm really excited. You know, in the last episode, we were able to put the sap extractors on one of the redwood trees. That let me get some sap and enabled me to make the superior kibble, which is what I needed to tame this bear. I want to have a good taming effectiveness with it. Now I plan on using a 2x2 two two foundation trap, you know, taming pen, but it will be too high. So I'll have doorways all the way around it and it will go two levels high. So it'll be two stories. And then I'll have the ramps to get in and out of it. Let me come over here and get some stamina. We're kind of loaded to bear right now. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of weight that we're carrying. I brought the Hesperonis because she's the shoulder pet that has the highest weight right now. So she's carrying a lot of my taming pen stuff. So after we do the dire bear, <laughs> hopefully that will go well, I'm going to show you a good way to get a lot of rare mushrooms, which you also need for the superior kibble. You know, typically you can get some mushrooms when you're farming crystal, but it will only give you a couple at a time. And this is a good way to get a bunch when you need it. So we'll do that after we do the dire bear. I think this bear is just up here somewhere. Hopefully I haven't passed it. I think I have. There's usually a blue dodicarus that we'll see that will let me know we're in the right area. I think it's just up here, maybe. I may have passed it. I have had a bear before. They're pretty cool. They're very fast mounts. They do a lot of damage, so they are really good mounts. I think I've gone too far. Nope, this is it. There's the blue Dodicarus. So let me just rest here and check it out. They are omnivores. They eat all sorts of stuff. Now where is it? It's usually right here, so of course it's disappeared now that we've come over here to tame it. Hopefully it's down here and we can just have it come up here. Where are you? Oh, there it is. It's a little closer than I wanted it. I wanted to put the trap farther up from it. Bring it up this way. Let's see if it walks away a little bit. Might be able to put it over here. Hopefully there's no silo that we have to worry about. Let me see where it is. I don't want it to be walking up this way while I do the trap. It's over there. That's good. It's not real level ground here, so I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I'm encumbered. Okay, let me put this down. A little uneven. 
uneven right here. This isn't going to work. I try and get to move it over a little bit. Nope. Where is it at? <laughs> Don't come over here. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see if I can get it farther over, maybe. Bring it down here a little ways. This may work. I'm trying to do this slow enough that I don't accidentally put these doors in the wrong place. It's easy to do. Now, I can probably lure it over on Flash. Because I think it might kill me. <laughs> We're going to try that see if it will follow us over here. And then I'm going to use the long neck rifle and the tranquilizer darts. Might have to tap it one. I couldn't even see where it went. Where is it? Why did it go down there? It's like it didn't even bother with us. I wonder if I'll have to shoot it with a tranquilizer like I did the very on it. <laughs> He's not even bothered. Woo! No, he's not even bothering. Here he comes. Maybe he'll come over if I... Here he comes. Oh good! We got him! Look at that! That is awesome! Ah! Scary, scary. I'm going to put Flash here out of sight so nothing, hopefully nothing will come after him. He's on passive. All right, I got my, make sure he's on, oh, no, he's on neutral. Now he's on passive. And now we're going to try and shoot this guy. I missed him, I think. I don't know how many it's going to take. I'm going to try not to shoot him too much. Oh, I missed him.
Now, I've seen people tame them and they hit them in the body more than in the head, so that's why I'm shooting them there. That didn't even hit them. I'm gonna have to get up level. It hit the wall. Now, I did bring my little magnifying glass. I'm curious about that. And let me go in first person to see if I can do it. I'm not close enough. Yeah. I'm afraid to get up close to him right now. There went the ramp. He should be able to handle it, I would think. Let's see if I can get close enough. Whoop. Oh, he broke my, uh... My leggings just from the one hit. Yeah, I'm not gonna get close to him right now. wait a few seconds in between. He's not trying to run. Look at that, I don't have any pants on. he won't die. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Oh. I'm getting over there. I mean, it's only doing like 26 damage. I want to try this out and see. There, he's got plenty of health. <laughs> he just broke up all my other uh, armor. You see, he hits hard. hit the wall. I don't hit angles like that. Oh, he's broke the other ramp. I hope he doesn't get out of here. Let's see if he starts running at any point. I hope he does. Then I'll know that, you know, we're getting really close. see any damage on the stone so I think we're doing all right and is he starting to run maybe he's gonna knock out soon he's looking a little Wheezy there, you know? I think he might be. He's not trying to fight. I'm hitting the wall on that side. Oh, did he go out? No, I don't think he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> He's a pretty color. Let me see. I'm curious to see what his health is at. 
Oh, he's doing all right. His torpidity did not look that high. I may run out of darts. I'm hitting the wall. Let me get to where I can... I hit the wall. I got him that time. these darts in the wall. That's ridiculous. That one got him. I guess you can't do, get too close to it. I may not have enough darts. Especially when you're missing them. Oh, he's almost down. We almost got him. A few more shots and we'll have him. He's going to be great. There he goes. There he goes. I'm going to starve him down like I did the other one. His food is at 12,300. So we'll try and bring it down. I don't know, 11,000 something maybe. Hopefully his torpidity won't be dropping too much. All right, let me put these traps around. Where are they? I'm so excited. Should probably put this down just in case I get killed by something over here. Put it over here. pick you up. Let me see what he's doing. Yeah, his torpidity is not dropping much, so that's good. I'll just put these in there to hold him there. So he's down to 12,200 food, so it's going to take a little while. Let me put these down around here to try and keep anything from coming over here. And swiping at him, you know. Should give me some protection, too. Let me go ahead and how much are you carrying? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up into my soul trap. And then I'll just... put this here. Hopefully we won't get anything coming this way. Alright, so I'm gonna sit here and babysit him. Wait for him, and I'll bring you back if anything happens, or when he's getting close to uh, feeding him. So I'm going to try and get him down to 11,000. Uh, let's see, it's 12. It's got 12,220. I'm going to bring him down, maybe down to 11,500. 
So hopefully he'll be hungry then and he'll tame up quicker. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, so his food is now at 11,395. His torpidity is dropping a lot, and I don't really want to give him narcotics unless I have to. So we're going to go ahead and give him the superior kibble now. I hope that he will eat it up quick. We'll just see. Hope he's hungry. There went one. It's two. Oh, look at that. Only four. Awesome. All right, I'm going to call him Ben. I used to watch a show called Grizzly Adams, and he had a bear named Ben. So we're calling him Ben. Awesome. Look at him. He's pretty, isn't he? Let's give him a saddle. Take that out of there. We'll give him the meat. And we're going to ride him home. Let him hold that stuff. Uh, let's see here. He can carry that too. Alright, I'm going to pick everything up. And then we'll get going. Oops. I knew I would do that. I can't see. I'm so excited that we got him. He's pretty cool. You'll see when we ride him home how fast he is. He's good at gathering fiber. He's very strong, very fast on land. He gets faster the more that he runs. He's supposed to have pretty good stamina. He does a bite attack, and he does a swipe attack. And the swipe is stronger than the bite, so we'll try those out. Sure, we'll end up running into something. Hopefully, we won't be attacked by Thyla from above. We're just going to run through the redwoods. at him. We were so lucky. Nothing came over here. And I was going to tell you, when you're waiting on your team like that on a PC, I don't know any of the controls for, you know, the Xbox or console, but on PC, you can hit the right alt button and you can, you'll see up above and you can kind of scroll around to see if there's anything around you. So I did do that a few times, and that was pretty helpful. So you might find that helpful when you're doing your taming. All right, let me unequip that, and let's get going. Oh, I want to add him to my group, too. I didn't do that. I think he's in this one, yeah. Here we go. So you'll see he'll gradually pick up speed. And uh, he cannot jump, I don't think. He's not a jumper. We may need to get on a flat land to test out his run. Look how he's speeding up. What's attacking us? A Pegomastix. What a dummy. Okay, so... Didn't want to see. Look at his melee. It's 331. 
His weight's 975. And his health is 29. I'm going to give him health. We'll work on health and melee with him, I think. He does not need weight. He's got great weight. So he'll be good when you're out running around picking stuff up. See how fast he is? Just leave things in the dirt, you know? Anything trying to catch up with you, you can just run away from it if you want. Woo! The Thyla! Oh my goodness! Don't kill me! Oh my gosh! I wonder what level that was. I didn't even see it on the screen. About killed me. I've got some kind of... something wrong with me. I don't know what that... picture is on the bottom right. The little icon. I thought... Oh! <laughs> Microraptor! <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! It's dangerous in the redwoods. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have no idea. I see on the bottom. I'm gonna get killed here. The snake. Let me give him some melee. Mm. And some health. <laughs> Everything's after us. Oh, I don't know that we want to go through the swamp. I mean, we could, but I'll just avoid that for now. I'm almost dead. I'm going to end up dying, I think. See if I if I can make it home in one piece, huh? We just have to come back for him. Oh nope. Can't go that way. What is this? Can we get through here? Oh no! Another thyla. I'm dead. It was a toy. Oh no! Now I could go back to the... Here, to the bed, sleeping bag I put down. But I think I'll get killed on foot running over there. I don't have anything. And I have my pteranodon. I can't fly over there. So I'm going to come over to the base. And I think I will get my baryonyx. And then I'll bring my dimorphodons with me because they're pretty strong. And hopefully we can go get them. Let's try that. You see those thylas, they're in the trees and they'll jump down on you real quick. Right, let me get some clothes on. Where am I? I'm in the wrong side over here. I'm hoping he'll be okay. I think he will be. Uh, let me bring... I probably won't even... I don't even have any arrows, so don't worry about that. Let me just get some clothes. A little bit of armor. Did I not put that on? Oh, I've got two. Put that on. 
Here we go. Okay. And let's see, who do we want to take? We're going to get our Dimorphodons and our Baryonyx. So let's... We're going to put him in the group that I had. I hope I, hope I didn't lose my Hesperonis. I probably did. And we are using the tank group. To give you some health. But she's got 400 melee, which is pretty good. And let me add the Dimorphodons in here. To the group. Is my current group right? Oh. They'll follow us over there. I think we may want to go down this way. Oh, wish me luck, everybody. That's typical of the Redwoods. It's just always, it's very dangerous, you know. But that's the good thing about the bear. He should be okay. I just gotta wait for the Dimorphodons. They are slower flyers, but they can do a lot of damage. And it's hard for most dinos to hit them. So they're pretty good backup. There's a raptor. We're always getting raptors around here. Okay, they just took him out. Here, I'm making sure I have them all. There's some piranhas in the water. I'm not really sure how far we were. I think we were not too far down there. Hopefully there's nothing too bad through here. Can't believe all the thylo is jumping out of the trees. I can hardly ever see them when I'm looking. You know, you go around and you look at the trees when you're flying alongside of it, and I can never see them. after us and we had micro raptors couple of those those guys are horrible I mean because they knock you off your mount and then you're kind of stunned and you can't do anything we may get attacked by more thylas I may die again <laughs> it's all fun And there's another beehive right there. I don't see like my death thing in the air. 
Now that right there is Dimetron or Dimetrodon. And they're good for incubating eggs. So I may get one and show you how to use it. Ooh, a Capra. They'll take them out. See? They do a great job. I think I see my little death light. Yeah, it's right over there. I hope we don't get another Thyla on us. trying to see the trees. <laughs> so he's down there. He's doing fine. There's our Hesperonis is okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we'll take the bear. Oop. If I can get them to follow, follow me. Everything is after us. I don't want to go too fast because of the Dimorphodons. I mean, they're good just to even if you had one on your shoulder. And if you're riding your mount, you can press the R button and it will fly off your mount and attack. Okay, we're doing good. Oh, I don't want to go too fast. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, he's got levels up. Let's give him some health. I'm just going to get his health up some right now. Look at all he's got, all this meat. Prime meat. He's not full at all, you know. Let him carry some of this. this on um what kind of is, yeah this is probably better than that I can't believe my little Hesperonis was still alive. I thought for sure it would be dead. The lucky little bird. I've got something wrong with me. I don't know if it's a parasite or something. You see that little image in the bottom right? I can't tell what that is. We made it home, even though I died one time. We got our bear. Let me put these guys in here. Where are that? Where are they? They get stuck behind the wall. There you are. It's just slow. Just slow. Come on, babies. Oh. Tell them to stay. We're gonna run around in the meadow outside the base with the bear. Oh, 
and watch how fast he gets. Look at him go. Can you believe it? <laughs> and his stamina is doing really good. And he gets a lot of... I think it's fiber that he gets. Look, he got 185 fiber. 154. Let's see. Let's give him... I'm going to get his health up some. Look at all this fiber we got. Pretty good. It's Iguanodon. Let's see. I hate to kill dinos that are not aggressive. You know, I don't like to kill them unless they're aggressive. I mean, I will sometimes, but I try not to. Alright, so we're back at base now, and in the morning, I'm going to show you how to get those rare mushrooms. So I'll see you then. Hey everybody, good morning, and I'm going to show you how to get those rare mushrooms now. And surprisingly, we're going to be using the moss chops. So they're really good for this. So let me show you these harvesting levels that they have. So if you press E on them and bring up their menu, you'll see these harvesting levels that you have available. And you get them as they level up. And you can put levels into all these types of harvesting. So I've been putting all of this ones into rare mushrooms. So I'm going to assign this point. She has one point available into her rare mushrooming harvesting. So she, now she's at 44. Now this one I have set up for rare flowers. Where is it? Yeah, rare flowers. So let's get her... And I'm going to put her in a soul trap to take her over there to where we're going. And we're going to take Bella and Ben. They're pretty strong. And I don't have to worry about anybody g killing us while we're over there. So we are actually going to the swamp. In the swamp, there are mangrove trees. I think that's what they're called. It's a certain kind of tree with these funky roots. You'll see them when we get there. All you have to do is get the moss chops to harvest them, and they'll get a lot of, you know, rare mushrooms while they're at it. Here's Ben. Come on, Ben. I'm going to put them on attack my target. So there's a spot in here where there's some of those trees pretty close. I can remember exactly where it is. I think it's farther over here. See if we can find it. Where are those trees? Oh, come on, Ben. I think I left Ben behind. There he is. He's being attacked, too. Where are those trees? Let's go farther down. Just down here. I 
I'm not seeing them now. Here they are. Yeah. These are the trees. See with the funky roots on them? Let's make sure there's nothing going to come out that's too uh, aggressive while we got the moss chops out. These guys might get aggressive if you get too close to them. Now there's a Sarko or something over there. Ooh, what is that? Therizino, maybe? Spino. Ooh, I don't want to be over here. Let's go down this way. Don't want to be by the Spino. Now this can be dangerous, as you can see. You got to be careful. I hope that Spino will stay down there. Uh, it probably will. Okay, so this will only take a minute. Hopefully this is in deep water right here, because it may be a bad spot to do it. Look at it. Getting all these rare mushrooms. nervous now that Spino. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she got. A bunch of thatch. She got 21 mushrooms. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little more. Look, she's got 44 mushrooms now. I mean, that's excellent. So that's how you can get a bunch of rare mushrooms pretty quick. And it is dangerous. So you're not going to want to be coming in here without any kind of protection. Unless you can find a good spot. You know, where there's some mangrove trees close to the edge of the swamp that you can get to pretty quickly. But now we got over 40 mushrooms. As opposed to just one or two here or there, you know, when you're doing the crystals. So I'll meet you back at base. So we just got back to base and I was really happy with this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We got Ben, our dire bear. He will be a good exploration mount. So I'm looking forward to using him in the future. And we're going to be looking for a mate for Bella. I did find a 130 Baryonyx, but I'm hoping to find one a little higher. I may tame that one. We'll just see if I can find something higher first. And we were also able to get all those rare mushrooms. It's a good way to get them with the moss chops. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I really did. And I'll see you next time. Later, later.